my fight fans this is fight week again we are just a few days from ufc 279 that is nate diaz versus hamza chamayev so i want to ask you guys this how does nate diaz win how does he pull off this victory i have actually went over this fight quite a few times i went over the back stories i went over the front stories i went over multiple things and i'm actually went over multiple ways how nate diaz can win and I'm going to say this, in my opinion, this is just only my opinion, the reason why I feel Nate Diaz can actually pull this victory off is because, you know, once, one, he does has the, has, um, the experience. You know, he has been in big fights before. He has been in main events before. He has been five rounds before. So, Nate Diaz is 100% no stranger to um, being in the moment. To being, uh, excuse me, to being in the spotlight, to having all eyes on him, to having all the attention on him, to having literally the world watching him. You know, he's not, he's not uh, um, scared of that pressure. He's not scared of being in front of those cameras, of being in front of those audiences. He wants that, you know, doesn't necessarily want it like attention craver, um, but he definitely is just one of those guys that just is not affected by, by all that stardom, by all that star power. He's not one of those that, like, super needs it. Like, you know, you see Connor, who's, like, that attention seeker. You see some of these other, like, Floyd Mayweather, that attention seeker. He's more low-level, more low-key, keeps to himself a lot. But, again, when he gets in there, he is not, like, afraid. He is not, like, stunned by, like, damn, the moment, you know, because we've seen so many fighters get in there who never really fought at that high level before and when they finally do get to the high level they kind of clam up and they start like they don't know what to do with themselves i believe eddie alvarez actually mentioned that facing conor mcgregor you know and even conor mcgregor himself mentioned that when he went against a uh when, when he actually went against nate diaz he said how hey, he got caught up in that moment and it happens so nate diaz that's something that we don't expect to see from nate diaz that's one that's another one nate diaz has cardio for days this guy runs triathlons marathons he does everything he does not he loves to swim he does his bike riding he does his running he is a very very high level cardio machine you know if if this was the old school ufc like we're talking the ufc in the 90s nate diaz could literally go that whole hour because there have been fights that went out a whole hour at one point i believe what was it the gracie and shamrock fight went in an hour and that's Diaz. Diaz has no problem going a whole hour. And that's not just like a little jab here and there. He could go hard. You know, he could unleash. He could be on the ground. He could be throwing throwing the strikes, doing the boxing. He could, whatever it is you want him to do, he could do that. And he could do it for literally hours and hours and on end. So there is literally next to no problem with Nate's cardio. Boxing. Nate has really great boxing. Nate has high-level boxing. He trains with the Olympic gold medalist, an undefeated fighter, world champion, super middleweight world champion, like heavyweight world champion, Andre Ward. You know, and Andre Ward has come out and said, yeah, Nate Diaz can really box at a high level. You know, he has really great boxing. And we've seen it. We've seen what he was able to do to Conor McGregor. We've seen what he was able to do to Gray Maynard. We, we, we've seen what he was able to do to other fighters at that higher level. And speaking of which, um, Nate Diaz has also fought a lot of high-level fighters as well. He has not fought just some punks. He's not fought some low-end guys. No, he's fought top of the top. You look at his list. Look at his last list. He went against, you know, the now champion, Leon Edwards. He went against one of um, Walter Wade's finest, uh, Jorge Masvidal. Yes, he was getting hit a lot, and he was getting destroyed a lot in that fight, but he was still coming on in that third fight, and we all know how Nate is. Just in that Leon Edwards fight, he was able to come come out of there in that last round. Now, we wish we would have been able to see those last two rounds, but nonetheless. Then you look at Anthony Pettis, once a lightweight champion. Then you look at... Um, Conor McGregor, both times, you know, the UFC lightweight champion, UFC featherweight champion, he, Conor McGregor is no punk himself. Then, of course, he went against guys like Michael Johnson. He went against guys like Rafael Dos Anjos. He went against champs like Benson Henderson, Donald Cerrone. The name goes on and on and on. So Diaz has been in there with some of the highest of high levels, you know, so he's no stranger to that. Then 
we got um his cornerman you know we look at he trains with his brother nick diaz who was also a high level high level um, mma fighter as well once a strike force champion and then you got jake shields same thing once a strike strike force champion you got gilbert melendez i know a lot of these guys ain't what they used to be but still high level trainers you know very high level again these are not no newcomers to the game these guys been around the game for a very long time a very very long time so there's a lot of ways nate diaz can actually win is he in a tough fight absolutely is this the toughest fight probably you know probably hamza chamayev regardless he is being pushed pretty quickly but he is very dangerous so without all being said can nate diaz win this fight absolutely will he win this fight that remains to be seen. I am rooting for him. I am an ADS fan for sure. But I am, you know, this is again, not no easy walk in the park for Nate Diaz. You know, there's a lot of odds stacked against him. There's a lot of um, MMA community, 90%, as a matter of fact, that are picking against Nate Diaz. You know, a lot of people are not giving Nate Diaz that chance because they know and seeing how Hans Up Chamayev is. Um, and also the final thing I got to say about this, there is no quit in Nate Diaz. You know, again, he was getting demolished by Jorge Masvidal. He was getting busted up. He was bleeding. That's some one of the, the flaws on Nate Diaz that he has a lot of scar tissue and it's pretty easy to make him bleed. So with that, it's, um, you know, we saw what happened. He ended up having to, uh, to the fight, the doctor had to end up stopping the fight. It's unfortunate. We really would have loved to see those last few rounds. Um, and then he has not been stopped ever since that, um, Josh Thompson head kick, you know, and then prior to that, I, I, you would have to really go back in the beginning of his career. Really? Like, again, this guy has no quit in him. He, he, like you literally have to stop him or the doctor has to step in. Otherwise you, you ain't going to tap out and he ain't going to get knocked out unless he absolutely ends up getting caught, which, you know, it's possible in the MMA. You know, it is. Look what just happened with Leon Edwards and Kamaru Usman. Pound for pound king, got knocked out. It happens. So, with that being said, can Nate Diaz win? Like I said, yes, it's very, very possible. You cannot count Nate Diaz out. The perfect example, Leon Edwards versus Nate Diaz. Guy getting dominated, getting literally beat in every single round. And then that last minute, bam, cracks him. Almost has him. Almost finishes him. That's the by by far the best example. Not just with Nate Diaz's career, but anybody's career. It ain't over till it's over. So my pick for sure would be Nate Diaz. It's not an easy fight. It is not a, a walk in the park for Nate Diaz. It's going to be a very, very tough fight. He does not have age on his side. He does not have youth on his side, but he has a lot of experience on his side. Being that I, Be that as it may, guys, I would like to know what you guys think on how Nate Diaz could win, if he's going to win, and in which way he's going to win. If you are picking um, him, or if you're picking Hamza, let me know that too. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.